flame field, so anesthetic is a little bit compromised here. So we're going to see if we can just in, in, inject over top of the lesion, um, and then sort of see if we can open that up and get that to drain for us. So we're going to use lidocaine. Do you remember what class of drug that is, Dr. John? It's like uh, so it's slightly different. So this is an amino amide class. So it's also an antiarrhythmic. Sorry. Sorry. So this is sodium channels. Yeah, that's exactly right. So it's a type one B antiarrhythmic that blocks the sodium channels. So see, that's distending. That's that's going to be uncomfortable for her. So do you remember what Langer's lines are, Dr. John? Basically, uh, they run in the skin, basically in the direction of the muscle fibers. Yeah, the underlying muscle fibers. So we, we generally want to target those. I apologize for this, it's going to sting a bit. You okay? Yeah. You can see how that's sort of draining through here. Does that hurt when I do that? No. So this is our number 11 blade. Okay. Yeah. So that's just all you can see. It's sort of firm. There's some keratin in there, mm -hmm. and the purulent material. All the purulent material is just dead cells. Is that hurting a lot? No. This is always the balance. You can do large circumferential blocks here, but that freezing is quite uncomfortable. So while we want to maximize her, her uh, comfort for sure, we also want to, don't want to cause distress if we can avoid it. So there's a balance to be had. You certainly, you know, she felt that a bit more than I would like when we sort of incised it, but I wouldn't want to do a large block um, that's quite uncomfortable for her either. So we're sort of caught with that. So once we drain that out, so you can see it's sort of evacuated. So then we want to irrigate that. This is just sterile saline. So this will fill back up for us. It's kind of a weird sensation. So, and can we, Dr. John, can we take the capsule out of this cyst? It's already ruptured. Too. The capsule is ruptured, but it's adhering to the sides. Could I get it out right now? Because. Yeah, that's the problem. So it's like a it's like a balloon, a balloon that's you know not full of air is pretty strong the membrane, but as soon as you blow it up, it becomes quite quite thin. That's what this is like. So, you know, people who do these procedures will realize that this is not going to go away unless we take the membrane out. But you can't take it out right now, so we're going to have to let that heal, and then at some point down the line. We'll have to go back in and then clear that out for her. You're tolerating that fine? Yes. So this small area, this essentially is gonna function like a curette. We won't do much more damage there because there's not a lot of loculations that are there. And, and that much you have to be careful with too, again, depending on how good your freezing is because we don't want to just cause her pain unduly. And so what bacteria likely cause this to get inflamed that's assuming it's infected? What type of classes are we looking at here? Um, gram positive, like strap yeah, yeah, gram positive. What's that gram staining based on? Do you remember? Like their growth in the medium. Yeah, so that's what, remember when they do the gram staining specifically, so you're checking, checking to see how thick the peptidoglycan layer is. And so ones that are thick are gram positive, ones that are thin are gram negative. And the most common gram positive bacteria that we'll see in these areas, remember two classes of drugs that we'll see for that? Two classes of bacteria, sorry? Like strep and staph. Strep and staph, yeah. And that's what we'll see here. So this looks pretty clean. So all I'm going to do now, is there a swab here? I'm just going to this out here. So once I've cleaned it out, so essentially what we're trying to do with our swab is we're trying to cap capture live bacteria. And that's why we just don't send away the uh, pus when it comes out. 
you can send that away and sometimes you'll get lucky with things but the more likelihood of finding live bacteria is if you clean it out and you may find some live bacteria along the margins is that hurting a lot so even that swab hurting so that much and then all we're going to do now we're going to leave that open obviously because you don't want to seal back infected field and we'll put a dressing on that and that will be it all done